It's about 1.25. I'm gonna make myself a nice lunch for today. I have a client uh, from my 6 a.m. elite. She went to Albuquerque over Thanksgiving and she brought me some ground buffalo from some organic farm where they have the bisons and the buffaloes. I drizzled some olive oil over this and I let it get to room temperature first. I'm gonna take this right here, this bison. We're gonna put it on the tray. So I already have it on the smoke setting right now. I already have the asparagus in here and I poured some olive oil over here as well. So on the Schrager, you have this, it's very simple. You have all these settings. Um, right now I have it in the smoke setting and I think the new Schrager's, the newer models, they don't even have that. They just have a low temperature setting. But you can see how it's smoking. Now I'm gonna put the bison basically just on here and let it sit here for about 10 minutes or so. Before I close the hood, I'm gonna put some seasonings over it. Real simple, because it's being smoked, you don't really need any fancy seasonings. So all I do is, this right here is Redmond's Real Salt. I got this from, uh, you can get it at Sprouts, you can also get it at Mother's Market. It's from Oregon, it tastes a lot different uh, than regular sea salt. It's a little bit almost sweeter and it has more nutrients in it. Salt is the number one, I would say for performance, the number one deficiency that a lot of people have because you gotta realize sodium volumizes your blood, so more blood gets sent to the muscle and sodium obviously keeps you hydrated. Muscle is 70% water, so it's very important that you get enough sodium in. Up next is the garlic. I just go like this, I sprinkle it all over there, even over my asparagus. There is no bacteria that is immune to garlic. Finish it off with some pepper. Not too much though, it's all set right now. You just close the lid and you just walk away, really. You can see right here in the Traeger, it has a little temperature uh, readout. The temperature really isn't that high and that's just the smoke setting. So what I'm gonna do right now, very simple, it's been smoking for 10 minutes. I'm gonna turn it all the way up to 450. If you want to get it even better, then what you can do is put it to 325 or 350. Of course, that's gonna take longer. By the way, in case you're wondering how this all works, right here you have the wood pellets, and that's the bucket of wood pellets that you put in there. The wood pellets come in all kinds of flavors. They have mesquite, hickory, apple. Basically, the wood pellets slowly go spiraling through there, and then there's a flame there. That flame ignites them, and then psh, right there, it smokes it all in. Smoke escapes through there. So right now, because I set it to 450, you can already see the temperature's going up. 200. You can see the temperature is up at 426. Open it, the bison is all done right there. The asparagus is all done as well. And then when you take your meat out, make sure you put it on the kitchen counter, leave it there for about 10 minutes because even after you take it out of the oven or the Traeger or whatever you're doing, it's still cooking right now. So internally, it's still cooking. I got my asparagus. And over here, I made some brown rice in the rice cooker as well. So you got your proteins here, you got your carbs here through the rice, and then you got your vegetables. So you may be thinking, wait, that's proteins, carbs, vegetables, what about the fats? So the bison, as with any good meat, has a lot of omega-3s in it. Omega-3s are what fight inflammation. Most of the processed foods have omega-6s, and most of the inflammation that we have, which by the way, inflammation is basically the precursor to almost all diseases and all the bad stuff that happens to you, stuff swelling up in your body, that's inflammation, that is caused by too much omega-6s. So that's why I always say, if you're gonna get a burger, get it a grass-fed, grass-finished burger. If you're gonna eat red meat, make sure it's grass-fed, grass-finished. And I think it's catching on right now, it's 2019. I, I live real close to a Northgate and they even had grass-fed carne asada. So the world is becoming a better place. Now the reason I like bison so much is because it's basically bison, you gotta see it like this. Bison is as nutrient dense as red meat, as the best red meat, like the best juiciest grass-fed beef, but it's as lean as white meat. So it's full of iron, it's full of zinc, it's full of vitamin B12. This is gonna be lekker. It's echt geweldig. This was heerlijk. Go make something like this. And if you don't have a smoker yet, once you do get a smoker, your life will never be the same. Hope you like this video, guys. See you guys soon.